Hello again. In my last video I mentioned that I picked up a couple of uh, Memphis Recording Service sets from the Sun Years and Kerry asked me to show them. So we'll take a look at uh, in fact three Memphis Recording Service releases. <laughs> so the complete works 1953 to 55 really nice set very nice booklet Quax information photographs from the Sun recordings <coughs> second disc so of course it contains all of Elvis's Sun releases from My Happiness um, and it ends with the radio acetates of full, 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 and shake, rattle, and roll. Really nice set covering everything. Uh, you should still be able to find this. It's a reasonable price. Well worth getting. Now the two sets that I show, these are more difficult to find, and they are becoming expensive. So the beginning of Elvis Presley, the birth of rock and roll, volume one. see the track listing on the back and basically a lot of this has been condensed into the booklet in the first set I showed you Oops. so in fact all the music is on this DVD which sits not very securely in there and then oops, let's do that this side opens up a to show a vinyl single That's blank on the back now a nice little touch I don't know if it will pick it up uh, probably not but they have included the push marks under the label I don't think this will pick it up but they are there but you won't get fooled because the back's blank now the significance of that is that as it says at the top processed from the original master mother stamper So straight from the original as it would have been heard at the time and in the other pocket is the book lots of great early photographs adverts um, live performance photographs and information about the Sun recordings uh, this information from the various sessions and live shows um, a really nice set so that's volume one so here's volume two this one seems to be harder to find so again this actually the DVD and this actually contains 40 tracks studio and live and interviews and also <coughs> previously unreleased just found for the first time ever never before seen so I think you get the message 
Jimmy Rogers Memorial Celebration, 25th of May 1955, Meridian, Mississippi, contains the first existing known footage of Elvis. And get rid of the glare. So there's the DVD. And this time, <clears throat> the single again pressed from the original mother stamper is Mystery Train. Again, it's uh, blank on the back. And the book on the other side <coughs> is a, a much thicker book. And again, full of great photographs, newspaper cuttings, adverts. And a lot of photographs I've not seen before various contracts and documents um, and they, uh, they show them other stampers um, live list of live performances from the period And a lot of documents relating to the shows. So two really nicely done sets. <coughs> and um, I mean, they rival FTD for the, the quality of the production. So you can hunt for these two. They are quite expensive. But you can also be really happy with that one. As I said, a lot of the, not all of them, of course, but a lot of the stuff is included in the booklet. Um, it's like a cut down version, but all the tracks are there. And of course, you need to get things like Tupelo's own. They do a really good job on these sets. I do pick them up when I uh, get the chance. They're always on television. So again, it's the the book in the centre, uh, the two discs. And it covers right up to the Frank Sinatra special. There's still some I want to get. I don't have the Pearl Harbor Benefit concert release they did. Um, apparently the sound is improved from the RCA release. So that's those. I finally got out to go and pick up my Elvis on tour. Fantastic set. Of course we can all complain about the things they didn't put in. I really wanted at least one complete concert on DVD. But uh, no complaints about the set. I really like it. So, uh, a couple of times now I've come across the uh, comment and people asking, um, people saying Elvis wasn't that great because he didn't write his own material. Now to me these people are just trying to show off their, um, some sort of snobbery that they have, trying to make themselves look clever. It is of course a ridiculous comment to make. <coughs> it's like saying Laurence Olivier wasn't a great actor because he didn't write Shakespeare's plays. Or every classical uh, musician in the world is useless because they didn't write 
Mozart's symphony. Um, every ballerina that dances is useless because she didn't write a ballet. A really stupid comment. It also shows an ignorance of the music industry back then. Singer-songwriters weren't particularly common. You had a vast songwriting industry um, from Tim Pan Alley. Teams of songwriters would churn out songs, put out sheet music and uh, hope that somebody would record them and have a big hit. And of course anybody was free to record them. This idea that, oh, somebody stole a song. The usual one is, of course, oh, I always stole Hound Dog from Big Mama Thornton. Big Mama Thornton didn't own Hound Dog. She didn't write it. She received the sheet music. She performed it as Lieber and Stollo wrote it. Elvis's version is completely different. He totally radically changed the song. I can't remember if it was Lieber or Stollo that said that when they first heard it, they didn't think it was their song. Elvis was a great interpreter of songs, just as actors are great interpreters of other people's words. <laughs> So to come out with this nonsense, um, I think it says a lot more about the person saying it. When you have people like Bob Dylan um, saying that uh, Elvis's performance of Tomorrow's a Long Time is the one recording he treasures the most, that's enough for me. Um, and other songwriters, you know, um, they've lived off Elvis recording one of their songs. Lived on the royalties ever since, and good luck to them. So if anybody ever says that to you again, be ready, because it is a rather dumb comment. Uh, as I put in uh, my post recently, I have now picked up another of the uh, picture disc gold standards. And um, this was a nice one, the white promo. So I can now see I've got a promo of That's All Right Mother. <laughs> I've picked up quite a few albums recently, um, which I'll do in other videos. Uh, but I was pleased to get this. I spent three years in Finland. Um, fantastic country. I loved every minute of it. I couldn't find an Elvis album. I fin the Finns don't produce many of their own records. Um, but I finally got this. Now, I thought it was sentimental me. It's Elvis Presley sentimental. A sort of odd selection of tracks. I'm not sure that I would uh, say that they were all sentimental. But it is produced in Finland. So I was pleased to get that. I did try and learn Finnish when I was out there. Uh, but if you're English speaking it's very difficult. Because as soon as a Finn knows you speak English, they want to speak English to you. Whereas if you speak any other language, they'll speak Finnish. Um, so, that's it for now. Uh, I had a week in bed with the creeping crud. But I'm just about over it now. <laughs> so, till next time, bye for now.